What makes a good scan? What is a selection? What are layers? What is resolution? What is a JPEG? What is TIFF? What is RGB? How do I crop a picture? What is a zoom tool? What is a clone stamp? What are levels? My name is Eric Basir, and I have produced this unique photo restoration and retouching foundations video course to answer all these questions and more. In my classes and workshops, I have taught hundreds how to preserve and restore their personal photographic collections with Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Photoshop Elements. Now you can have me as your personal instructor in this 10 lesson course. After studying the videos and easy to read workbook, you'll finish with a firm foundation of how to use Adobe Photoshop or any other photo editing program confidently and correctly. Greetings, this is Eric Lassier, and I am going to give you some tips on a particular photo restoration. We're going to use a program called Adobe Photoshop Elements. This is available online or sometimes in stores uh, at a very affordable rate, usually less than $100. And there's no subscription fees, no monthly renting charges. So, the uh, first thing I always do, and, and I teach this, is we, we have to duplicate the, uh, the background layer, all right? So, we, we go here, duplicate layer, it's a little dialogue, this gives us some working. Now, in my course, I explain why you should do this and the importance of it. All right, so this particular image is a scan from a book or a magazine or a newspaper something that was already printed and we can tell because we have what's called halftone dots all right um, I will take the my this is going to be a, a quick um, explanation of what I recommend you would do and it, it is somewhat advanced but uh, if you get that course or if you're working on the course and you're following this, You'll be, once you complete it, it'll all make perfect sense. So I have the crop tool. I want to set some boundaries here. And I'm going to move the crop tool. I'm going to hold the, I want to hold the, op, the, the control key on my keyboard right now. And that, that allows me to, to, to adjust it without it snapping to the edge. Because I just need to get what's called a hairline crop right there and uh, we ac we actually have a little bit of a hairline right here alright and at this point we will go to uh, filter uh, we can try a, a, a Gaussian uh, Gaussian Gaussian blur and I want to zoom in at about a hundred percent how do I know I'm at a hundred percent if I look up here tells me I'm at 100% and uh, move, move this around a little bit hit the preview before after it's already going to be slightly out of focus anyways the original but now all we've done is eliminated the grain there's really no detail that's been eliminated it's just this uh, it's not even grain it's it's just the the um, the halftone dots when it was printed so, I turn off the background, turn it on. Okay, that's smooth. Now what we can do is we can grab some of the uh, various tools. Let's jump right to the healing brush or the spot healing brush. And I'll make it kind of small. And, uh, and just go through and get rid of these. I always say when you're retouching, uh, you really want to make sure your monitor's clean because otherwise you'll be like, oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? And it's nothing. It's just dirt on your monitor. Um, so right here is a strange area. So we could grab the clone stamp tool and uh, grab that right here. And... 
let's let's do what's called um, adjusting the o opacity. And let me uh, drop this down just about there. And I will Alt Option click near it. And then tap a few times. There we go. I believe this was worked on a little bit before I got to it. And this is uh, actually a student picture. The student was having some trouble. Who sent me this picture and said, look, I paid you all this money for this course. I haven't learned nothing. Well, no, that wasn't it. Uh, She's just been so busy, she hasn't been able to do the whole course. She hasn't gotten to this part. So um, I'm just going to show her how to do it. All right. Yeah, I think that's uh, pretty decent. Now, we have this bottom part that is uh, a bit darker than the, the upper part. So we're gonna grab we'll grab the uh, lasso lasso, and I squint my eyes a little bit, try to find where we have changed. I'm dragging it all the way around here. Hold the shift key down to get that little gap, and then I'll feather. I'll soften the selection. I want to do something really heavy. All right, it's, it's like 20, 30 pixels. Now let's get the, let's make a, uh, we're going to make a new adjustment layer. And generally I teach with levels uh, for today. Um, and, and that's really all you can do with uh, elements. And for today this is trying to keep it simple but fast. All right, and then here's my little, box so since I want it brighter I'm gonna move it away from the light I want to give her more balance on her lower part of her mouth now we'll go to the layers palette let's turn this off turn this on you see what I mean yeah yeah that's much better in fact we can do a little bit more let's go to about 1.5 and uh, let's go to layer new adjustment layer levels we're making another one this is with no selection as you see double click it now I want to bring this slider over from the right bring this slider over from the left and what we've done we've given her a little more a little more contrast a little more three-dimensionality um, <clears throat> let's click on the background copy layer Grab the selection tool again. I notice this area is kind of bright. And I want to compensate. Oops. Let me hold the Alt Option key down. I want to sub and I'll subtract this out of there. We'll go to Select Feather. All right, and we'll make a new adjustment layer. Now remember, this is under. Oops. All right. There's there's keyboard shortcuts for all these things, by the way. Um, somehow it disappeared, so I went back into my history to go backward and forward again. This is a very soft selection, so we may get unpredictable results at the corner. But let's see what happens. And uh, in the levels. And this time I'm going to move what's called the output uh, levels here. So notice I lose some of that that uh, white in there. So let me try to bring some midtones down from the up this section here. Bring the output here. Yeah. And then we we'll bring this shadow area yeah it's okay um, so what we'll do is we'll take a paintbrush and 
make it kind of big up here, change the size. And I didn't want that. I actually need to go switch it from black to white. There we go. And that's still too much. Drop the opacity for the brush up here. Yep. Uh, I will admit, this is not beginner work that I'm doing. This is not beginner type work. Um, it is very advanced in some regards. Alright, and uh, actually, let's uh, work with this and, and kind of paint in a little more separation between her face and the bonnet. Help these eyes deepen them a little bit. Yeah. All right. And let's get the hair. All right. So we're going to look at before and after. I will hold the alt and option key down and click the background layer before after before after. Now, to get rid of all this stuff in here, we'd have to do some rebuilding, complete rebuilding. So I would rather not uh, do something like that uh, without a source. And that is, if I had another picture of another bonnet uh, from the same angle, the same style, and the same lighting. So for now, we'll just get rid of those parts. Let's make one more le le adjustment. And, uh, <laughs> this will be our final adjustment. No more after this. Just make it pop a little bit more. And we'll paint away. Change it over here from black to white. White to black. Um, I have the wrong brush. Gotta get the paint brush tool. There we go black to white let's make the opacity 100 percent yeah also click on this layer and let's get rid of some of this it's just a little too black a little bit too dark Yeah, and there you have it that's my suggestion and of course once you're done with it come back to it the next day you'll find some other problems with it thank you for your attention